Hey, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do chord backup on the song, I'll Fly Away. You may have heard this song in the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Maybe you heard it in church. If you heard it somewhere else, let me know. I'm curious. And I'm gonna start by playing a verse and a chorus for the whole tune. And then I'm going to talk about what the chords are, show you exactly what the chords are, and then how to practice it, and just what other things you can do with chord backup. Before I get started, I'll just say also that I try to present chord backup in a very simple way so that you can just start doing it, and then later show you theory. Because if you get bogged down in the theory when you're starting, a lot of, a lot of students just give up on this and other stuff. And I don't want you to do that. All right, so here we go. By the way, I'm doing it in G major. Some by morning when this life is over. Before we get started, I just want to tell you that on the Fiddlehead site, I've made specific audio to practice the chord transitions and the things you'll be learning in this video. And so the, the page is, part of, part of the content is free, so feel free to click the link in the description to check it out, and that way you just see what we're doing and how I teach this stuff. And also I give live lessons and I've given, I'm starting to do live lessons on playing chord backup and then to work this into other lessons that I do live. So if you're interested, just check it out and thanks for watching. Cool, so now let's learn the chords and then we'll learn how to practice them. And then we'll see what happens after that. So it's in the key of G major, you're gonna need to know G, C, and D major, that's it. I'm going to show you very easy versions of this. The G major chord is just going to be open G and D. You may want to start by just playing that. And just really getting into that. And the very, in fact, the first line of the song is all G major. Song by morning when this lap is over. Just all G major. But we'll get into that in a bit. The next chord you're going to need is C major, and so that'll be open G and D1. And then the, the final chord you need is D major, and the way we'll play that is G1 and open D. Okay. So, the main thing you need to know for practicing this and learning the chords of the, the tune is that you first start by really practicing the transitions. So this is a message for beginners at this. So you would go between G and C and just do that. I mean, you could really just practice that one transition, memorize it. By the way, memorize these chords. Just have them completely automatic. It'll help so much when taking further steps with chord backup, playing with others, just to, to have these essential chords memorized. So, so anyhow, so then you, you learn to practice the transitions G to D, G to C, and G to D. Make your practice more interesting, always. Always make it creative and interesting. And an easy thing, just plug in different rhythms. Ho down. Going G to C. If you 
something different than what the song even does, like triplets. And variations on triplets. Still a triplet rhythm. Bouncing. So there's a lot, lot we can do rhythmically with it. In this tune, the main rhythms I was using was uh, the hoedown, long, short, short. The other rhythm you can use is the train pattern. It's basically eighth notes. Lots of wrist. But then try to accent the two and four beats. One and two. And four. Practice it on just the open G chord. And practice kind of doing some throwing in single notes. Whatever you do, so let's pull back from that. That was a, a fairly tricky rhythm. If you haven't done that before, it will take a long time to get an automatic feeling for that. So what I kind of put the cart before the horse there. I think when you're learning these songs, you really want to start with simple, simple rhythms. Half notes, quarter notes. Let's start with quarter notes. And back to G. All right. So, okay. You could even do half notes. And if you're not singing, if you're playing backup, sometimes the long notes are perfect for playing backup to a singer. Because they're they're less intrusive, right? There, it's when you're playing backup, and you, especially with a singer, you want to just add to the song. You don't want to be flashy. It's not your time to solo. You're just there to add something really beautiful to support the song. throwing in that trill it's just uh, my fingers have a mind of their own all right so so now I think what I'll do is I'm gonna play I'm gonna play along with the play along track and you'll see a little bit of it on the screen I just want to illustrate that you can practice that it practices so key and it's easier to practice if it's in the song w with audio that matches the thing you're learning. So we're going to do that with this. I'm just going to do a little bit of it. And you'll be hearing the vocal and, and you can do this on the fiddlehead side too. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, seven, G. Yeah, uh, on the site, you can do that at multiple tempos, too, which is 
useful too. It's useful, playing things at different speeds is a useful learning device because your brain is getting different angles and it's like looking at a sculpture from different angles. You're getting a better picture of what you're doing. If you do want to learn to sing this, there's some strategies you can use. One is simply to alternate between the chord and singing. So like, some bright morning when this life is over, and then just chord. important if you're new to it to separate out your tasks it's the micro practice approach because if you do too much at once you're likely to become frustrated so if you just start with alternating between singing and chord playing the chords and then you can make the jump to hyperspace speed at some point and do both at the same time what you may want to start with one phrase like Maybe just that. Sunday morning. You could really work through the whole tune that way, and you will be able to do this. If you hit a roadblock, what it means is that you're doing too big of a piece, too challenging of a thing. See if you can simplify it, take away the voice, take away the chord, do a smaller bit, whatever. Does that make sense? All right, so you, you can really learn anything if you, if you learn in this way. It just takes a, a patience, but it also takes a kind of curiosity to just get in there and tinker with stuff. Uh, another thing you could do is you could, all, like say you're using the fiddlehead play along track, you could alternate between playing the melody and the chords. Maybe you can add a third step in there. Some bright morning, sing, and then you just keep looping between those different things. So I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, just drop me a line. So cool, if you found this video to be helpful, entertaining, whatever, then please hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you do that, it really helps to keep the channel going it helps me it'll help me to keep making videos if you do that and it's just a small little support thing and thanks okay excellent have fun with this tune have fun playing it and playing chord backup and send me your chord backup questions I'll do my best to answer them I, I'll probably talk a little bit about theory on the lesson page so you can check that out too all right see ya Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching my video clocking. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.